Who will be the next European banking champion amid all of the merger chatter in recent months? Two of our Bloomberg opinion columnists have put forward their proposals. Well, Elisa Martinuzzi argues that a UBS Deutsche Bank merger would bring together highly complementary businesses. Mark Gilbert, on the other hand, thinks that a three-way combination of Unicredit, Commerce Bank and Sogen could have the heft to take on U.S. rivals. The two joins us now. So, Mark, let's kick it off with you. Why would you want to take U.S. on in terms of the investment bank? Is there not enough to do on the retail space in Europe? Well, You've got to, you, what you want is a European banking champion because the sources of capital in Europe mostly depend upon bank loans. Capital markets union isn't here yet. Capital markets are underdeveloped here. Depends on bank loans. If you're a regulator, if you're a government, what you want to ensure is the capital necessary for economic growth is always available. And that means sourcing it domestically. Therefore, there's a strong incentive to have a European banking champion that can compete with those US giants. OK, would UBS and Deutsche Bank actually fulfil that role? I think we're playing fantasy m a here to begin with. Let's, let's clarify that because all these deals um, sound great in theory and then in practice it's a different issue. I think UBS um, and Deutsche would, would solve other issues. I mean, they are more complementary in other areas. I mean, you know, strong wealth manager, manager there'd be a strong investment bank across fixed income and equities. Um, you know, they wouldn't be the European champion that, you know, that Mark is talking about in terms of, you know, the geographic um, location because you've got Switzerland, which is, of course, outside the European Union. But um, there are, you know, there are, there are industrial reasons why, well, that deal could work and could help, you know, make Europe's banks fitter to compete with Wall Street firms. Let me show a chart right now of three of these banks. This is Deutsche Bank, Unicredit, and Commerce Bank. And it is the ugliest chart on the planet, as both of our esteemed guests know. What's important is when you expand it out, yeah, Unicredit's done better in red, but so what? Mark Gilbert, the urgency here is critical. What is the urgency to clear the market and combine? It is delay, delay, delay. But everyone recognises there's a need for cross-border mergers. The fact that the German regulator was willing to nod through, it seems, Deutsche Bank and Commerzbank at mm -hmm. least acknowledges that the banks in Germany, the biggest banks in Germany, need some help. And I reckon Unicredit under Jean-Pierre Mustier could convince the German regulator, it already owns Hypo Bank. it could convince the German regulator yeah. it would be a good steward for Commerzbank. Elisa, do you agree? Well, I think, you know, Unicredit does come, um, you know, with a lot of Italian sovereign debt on its box. So I think, you know, convincing the, German, the Germans might be difficult in that regard. Um, but yes, this is, you know, in terms of the complementarity of the business and in terms of the synergies that the businesses together would bring, uh, there's definitely a strong argument for that. It would make a very strong lender to the middle, Mittelstand, Germany's small and medium-sized enterprises, which are the backbone of the economy. So in that regard, um, you know, Germany ought to, ought to at least listen to Unicredit. Um, Mark, who's playing M&A fantasy? I mean, are the regulators, is the ECB trying to, to make these, you know, big dinosaurs mate? Not sure. The, the ECB wants it to happen, but it needs to be a step back. It can't get involved. I think in terms of the local regulators, no one really wants a massive banking champion on their books. But guess what? Doing nothing is not an option. That chart that Tom just showed, these banks are getting killed. And with the European Central Bank about to reduce interest rates again, the environment's not going to get any better for these banks going forward. So cross-border mergers are what they're going to have to start looking at. And certainly... But with what catalyst? The catalyst is... That chart that Tom just showed, it, it, they can't get much worse without disappearing from view. Therefore, you don't have the capital you need to get the economy yeah. going at a time when it's plunging into a downturn. Elisa, what's the Deutsche Bank date calendar this week into the end of the second quarter? Come on, do something. What is, what is Mr. Saving going to do? Well, I think we've got the second part of the uh, U.S. trust test, uh, the qualitative part, later on this week. So we'll learn more about how much freedom, if any, uh, the Deutsche Bank U.S. unit has gained from U.S. regulators. That yeah. could be interesting. Um, but yes, I mean, to Mark's point, yes, share prices are low, but I think, you know, it's got to be said that European banking uh, regulation and the, right. the lack of a banking union makes those deals very, very difficult still.